Hi guys, Retro Django here. Uh, this is my newest IBM Optiva computer. I'm just gonna check it up with you guys uh, live. So let me just set up my PC over here so I can see what you guys are writing. And then we will start the show. <laughs> uh, I hope it works. live video come on there we go beautiful okay hi guys retro Django here i just got this ibm Optiva pc i absolutely love the design of these computers i mean look at this guys isn't it just beautiful? Now this one is called 2134. And I, I don't know, it's, it's just, they're just magical for me. I remember it when I went to school back then, you know, so great memories from these computers. And I mean, finding them in this condition is not easy, absolutely not. And just finding this little cover here most of the times when i see one of these for sale uh, and that's not that often guys they're <laughs> they're not for sale that often but when they are then this one is just missing and that's just that's a bummer you can probably 3d print them but you know what i mean we want the real deal right so yeah this one in really nice condition but with this purchase, I got a lot of great stuff that I want to show you guys on YouTube. Um, hello, I've got 2144 model myself, pension 150. Okay, you upgraded that one. <laughs> I think this is a 120. I'm not sure yet, but we're going to take a look at it. <laughs> but the thing is, this live video is actually all about all this stuff over here. Because the PC stuff, I'm going to make maybe another live video or a proper video where I take that PC out. Um, we can open it today and see what's inside, but I'm not just going to power it on. Now, with this PC, I got some great stuff, man. Let's take a look at it over here. So, first of all, look at this mouse. I have been looking for one of these for a long time. Really like them. Old style. I don't know which model these one came with, but I mean, I, I look at this IBM logo. Looks great. I got this joystick. Gravis PC gamepad. Yeah, you're, you're looking for one. Yeah, I mean, they're not that often for sale, but yeah, let's look at this. I mean, this is maybe for auto fire or something like that. I don't know, but this gamepad, it looks like absolutely brand new the only thing i don't like oh is oh the only thing i don't like you can just pull it off <laughs> oh nice okay a pc joystick nice and and i'm telling you it it absolutely looks like new man great stuff microsoft mouse Nice. Another mouse. And this keyboard, as you can see the IBM logo. The thing is, this keyboard, um, it's a really model number K, KB8926, but it's just so heavy, man. I don't know why, but it's a heavy one, dude. <laughs> But yeah, 
but it is an IBM, so that's great. Okay, so that's the hardware part. Yeah, the PC over here. We're gonna open the lid in a minute, guys. Just wait and see. So we got this beautiful PC, this heavy keyboard from IBM. I think this mouse came with this generation. I don't think it's this one. This is much older, but yeah, it came with it. Came with this, um, actually pretty nice joystick, joy pad, I'm sorry. It came with USB cables. Nice, it came with a beautiful, uh, what's it called, quick shot joystick. Nice. Oh, it's, I mean, playing TIE Fighter, Star Wars TIE Fighter with this one, X-Wing. Nice. Okay. <laughs> Great joystick. <laughs> All right, let's go ahead and look at this stuff. This is why we're making this video. Christopher, hello my friend, hello Chris, hello and welcome to this live video. We're gonna look at some uh, PC stuff this time, I hope it's okay. My idea Metro also had a newer version of IBM mouse, believe me, Microsoft mouse is so much better. <laughs> oh, nice buttons, man. I'm really looking forward to trying them out, but... This is just something that I'm not used to see. This is, this is just amazing, man. I absolutely love this. So let's put the camera like this and take a closer look at all this beautiful stuff that was included this uh, PC. So let's just start from this one. Jill of the Jungle. Don't know that game. Is it good? Is it bad? This is how it looks at the backside. Anyone that has tried it before, it needs a graphic card. All right. 720 kilobyte disk drive. 286, not XT. You need a 286 to run this game. Has to be installed on a hard disk. 256 colors VGA. <laughs> can also be used with EGA, CGA, fantastic sound effects. If you have a Sound Blaster Live card, it's much better than Nintendo. All right. And inside we have a manual. Nice. Danielson, my favorite 90s PC. I love the design. It's absolutely beautiful stuff, man. And we have got two discs that's called... Jill of the Jungle. Nice. How great would it be if all the stuff had the original discs or CDs? I mean, yeah. All right, guys. So this was the first part. The next one, it's called Battle Beast. The ultimate fight game. Seventh level. All right. Don't know it. The next one is called Best of Horror. Horror games. Nice. News. Blood 2. Oddity. Player Manager 99. Transport Tycoon. What a lovely game, man. What a lovely game. We've got more games here. Uh, I don't know these games, man. Heretic 2, no, I tried the first one. And we got The Lost Mind of Dr. Brian. Nice. We have got Microsoft Works. Microsoft Suit 2000. Oh, I mean, looks like brand new, man. It looks like brand new. Great stuff. We got Saga Superstars. Still. New in box. <laughs> Elite 4 Camp. Yay. Nice. Safety in the traffic. <laughs> yeah. All right. 
oh, you need a Pentium 2, 266 megahertz. So, well, this PC can't run this. <laughs> Don't know why it's included, man. Another game called Word Rescue. All right. All right. And we got a disc inside. <laughs> yeah. Another CD number five. Oh, works. All right. CD three. CD four. <laughs> nice. We have got some sort of copy discs and manuals. We have got FIFA 97 copy. <laughs> We have got World World Atlas. Is the CD included? Let's just see if it's the proper one. Yeah, nice. All right, guys. I mean, I think IBM made some sort of, you know, whole package deals where you could get all this stuff. But it's just it must have been fun back in the early '90s getting all this stuff, man. I like it. I like it a lot. Dart. Nice. <laughs> Next one. Oh, this is printed, man. I can. Oh, copy Barbie game. It's printed. Four small games. I mean, the CDs are inside, and. Yeah. Microsoft Games and Internet. I mean, mid 90s internet was just oh internet explorer 4 nice i don't think this cd has ever been touched before man looks like new <laughs> no let's wait for this this is just manuals but still you know uh, in danish ibm archiva manuals i mean this is not something you can find every day Thick Danish manual how to RAM upgrade. I mean, back in the days, they could really make these beautiful PCs, man. Oh, nice. All right. Real nice manual. How to unpack, unbox, and uh, set everything up. Oh, I know this model also, but we're looking at table model <laughs> all this stuff is included oh it had a screen included no you don't find them anymore no christopher I, I, it's the first time man i have been doing this for two years youtube videos but nothing as complete as this man this is beautiful <laughs> how to set up the cables uh great stuff man still in good condition i mean yeah, I mean, as a collector, this is just, yeah, you know what I mean, guys, you know what I mean. Folkeskolen og informationsteknologien, IT, okay. All right. We have got some IBM stuff, registering stuff. Here we have got Explore of the Untamed World Safari. Correct CD inside? Correct CD inside. <laughs> Great stuff, man. I mean, this is actually yeah, Windows 95. This is from 96. This is actually stuff you can run from, uh, from this PC on, you know, a Windows 95 system. I like it. Great, man. I like it. Uh, you don't have to see what's going on on the screen. So let's just... On my uh, computer over here that's not interesting for you uh, i should actually read what you guys are writing but yeah you can write to each other right <laughs> um okay let's go ahead and explore this uh, i can't open it because it's still sealed from you know the 90s man great Let's take a look at this. 
Ken's Labyrinth. 3D action adventure, 27 levels and hotline service. Cat computer. All right. Can you sound blaster? Midi. <laughs> Let's see if we have something goody inside. Yes, Ken's Labyrinth. Oh man, we have to rat protect it. There we go. It's nice that all the discs and CDs are included, man. There we go. Beautiful stuff. Let's take... Oh, I know this game and I absolutely love this game. If you have an MS-DOS computer, try God of Thunder. This game is... Such an amazing game, man. Danish menu. It supports Sound Blaster and Joystick. I played with my keyboard. Oh, it's, you know, it's... Uh, Thor, instead of playing Zelda. Oh, my neighbor's building. Sorry about that noise. <laughs> but, uh, it, you know, chop down game like Zelda and it's... Ne no can open here god of thunder great stuff man try this game try this game sorry about that noise guys <laughs> oh look at this pirated copy of civilization 2 ew <laughs> donald duck role-playing games oh yes let me see, Dragon for Jedi Knight, Jedi Knight Mysteries, Young Blood, Ultima 4, Diablo, Fallout, Final Fantasy 7, Rage of Mages. Great stuff, man. Great stuff. What do we have here? I don't know. We have got a CD called. Bitware for Windows. Oh, okay. So Microsoft Explorer 5 and Media Talk. Real player, quick time, modem driver. <laughs> this is just some old stuff, man. Wow. <laughs> Christopher, the oldest I have is a Pinion 3. Oh, you have to have something slower, man. Pinion 1. Pinion 1 is a nice way to go if you want to play MS DOS games. Love that system. We have three CDs here. It's called The Biggest Names, The Best Games 3. Okay, it's Super Punks 99. I'm looking still. Yeah, look, look, my friend, look. <laughs> oh, Need for Speed Road Challenge. This one was amazing. If you have the, had a 3D card, it was just such a nice game. FIFA 99. <laughs> Great stuff, man. Another CD, still boxed for Windows 95, 98, and Megintosh. Some games inside. Oh, this was the included monitor. Look at this ibm ibm oh it's a live video i can't uh, i'm so sorry as soon as i look at i look this through i will cut the video because it's not it's irritating with all that noise in the background so i will hurry up guys but uh, yeah with this pc the matching um screen should be an ibm g40 but we have we still have the manual that's nice. Now, this is the specifications of that. Whoa, it weighed 13.5 kilos, man. Nice. And... How much humidity? G50 model? G40? Don't know. That must be the next one you're mentioning. <laughs> but yeah, we have a manual for that monitor. But I mean, CRT monitors, not easy to find today. But fun to have the manual included with this one. 
The next game is called BC Racers. Don't know it, but do we have the disc inside? Yes, we do. One out of one. Nice stuff. We have got Biomenis, one from Apogee. Okay. Floppy disk inside. Let's take a look. We got a letter from IBM. <laughs> Let's take a look at this, guys. Oh, we have got some registration stuff in here from IBM. We also have a disk. Edgy eye drivers. I mean, the person that had this PC was really respect for just saving all the stuff, man. Whoa, a map of Denmark. Is the CD inside? Yes, it is. <laughs> Great. We have got Windows 95. We got the product key over here. Great stuff, man. Oh. Man. Don't steal my key, okay, guys? <laughs> First time ever I see one of these. Oh, this means this PC has got some sort of RAM upgrade. Beautiful. This was maybe the box for the RAM. We have more manuals. Uh, a game. All right. Let's go ahead and look at this, man. Whoa. I mean, stuff like this were just magical before the age of fast internet. Oh my goodness. How loud is that noise in the background? It's irritating, right? It irritates me, man. There we go. And this one. What is that noise? Yeah, it's so irritating. I'm so sorry about that. It's actually, I just got a new neighbor and she is cutting something, something. I don't know. <laughs> um, yeah, it is what it is, guys. I will, I will just hurry up because it's not, it's not fun to make a video like this. I'm getting, I'm getting uh, irritated, man, about that background noise. But yeah, it is what it is. Let's just go this fast through and see what's included. Then I will make a part two when we take a closer look at this beautiful computer, right? Sounds like a bell center. Yeah. Yeah, they're cutting something or sending something I haven't checked, man. But look at this. I mean, again, they don't... The noise is not too bad. Okay, Nigel, I am so happy to hear that. But it's just... For me, it's really, really loud. I can't concentrate. <laughs> I can't enjoy it like this. Um, but, yeah. All right, let's take a look at this. It's called IBM Aptiva Multimedia. Great stuff. I mean, look at this, guys. So I think this was also included. We have got Lotus 1 through 3, Lotus Word Pro, and more stuff like that. Great, man. Next page here. Encyclopedia, Body Works. Strategy games of the world. Probably civilization is included. <laughs> I mean, really nice and it looks like new, man. Love this. Oh, here we go. Windows 95 CD. And we have got the Windows 95 manual here. Again, not every day we find a collection like this. This is. We have to document this. We have to have this on YouTube, guys. Because this is back from the early nine, mid 90s. So, yeah. I love all the old manuals and factory stuff. Yes, Christopher, that's how I feel. 
that's why I just want to show you this, guys. So yeah, we have Windows 95 here. So that means that, you know, this Pinch on One PC is from Windows 95 era. So I hope that's installed. I hope the PC works. I have absolutely no idea. I don't, uh, I haven't checked it, but by the looks of it, it looks like everything was stored, you know, in a pretty good way. We have something over here, video saver, what's it called, man? Monuments, uh, the world's greatest monuments, okay. We have got Battle Beast, we saw that CD early on, it's down there somewhere. I like having this, man, original Windows 95. Yeah, okay. RBM up to extra programs. So this, I mean, this CD and these two, they are the most important CDs. Yes, you can probably find, you know, uh, the most stuff online uh, today and download it, but having them like this, System and help functions, uh, easy system setup, um, advanced sys test, IBM antivirus, um, uh, what's it called? Restore CD. So if we install this one, this is, it's called, uh, you know, yeah, I original IBM Activist. PC software. So I think with this one you will get all the drivers and this is you know some extra stuff like antivirus and stuff like that. So having this included is just magical man. I I really like stuff like this. So should we quit the video now and tonight make a part two because of the sound, noise in the background, or should I just move this to the side and just open the IBM and take a look? The first one that answers, I will uh, do what he or she says, man. Cut it for now, or should we open it? Come on, I'm waiting. What to do? We have a lot of noise in the background, but I can open this one and take a look inside. Christopher says, open. Nigel says, keep going. <laughs> All right, guys. Open. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Yes, yes. Okay, okay. I will open it. I will take a look. <laughs> All right. Thank you, guys. Thank you. Um, so let's go ahead and move this to the side and just select the stuff. Oh man. Star uh, um, X X Wing versus Tie Fighter with this one. It's gonna be great, man love this stuff okay so why is this so heavy man it's wow impressive stuff okay i have to move this one nigel says it is all going to be the nice condition yes nigel it's I am absolutely surprised about the condition. Do you know how I bought this one? I um, I just paid the owner and I couldn't pick it up. So one of my friends lived close by. So he picked this whole collection up, untested. I just paid online everything untested he just picked everything up and including this <laughs> you're gonna get angry now including with this purchase there was two crt monitors and my friend said that uh, they were too heavy he didn't want to lift them and uh, he just Without contacting me, he said he was at the place, the, the seller's place, um, and these two monitors, he didn't want to pick them up. And he told the seller, you know, 25-year-old CRT monitors, they're probably dead, so they were not 
you, you will not take them out for me? <laughs> and they were probably junk, so just throw them out. <laughs> so he picked this and all the CDs for me and didn't get the monitors. And, you know, months and months later, someday he called me and he said that he should... Uh, he would drive close by uh, my place and um, he could uh, meet me at my place and he just delivered this and some Amigas he just picked up for me. Um, great stuff but the monitors they're just gone. I don't know if it was G40 or what it was I really really don't remember but I would just love to have you know the whole original set that could be yeah I, I'm I am thankful I have friends that helps me, you know, picking up stuff and stuff like that, but don't know, hard to explain. It could be fine with, you know, original CRT monitors, guys. So, yeah, it is what it is. Nothing to do. Let's just do it like this. Okay. Look at this guy. Isn't that nice? <laughs> so, we have 144 floppy. And CD-ROM, yeah, it's a CD-ROM drive, IBM logo, up to there. And you don't have to open, when you want to turn it on, you just push here. And you have power LED and hard disk activity LED. There we go. Okay, I will just remove this one. Love the case design. Yeah. Too bad. Yes, Christopher, it's just too bad. Uh, I think you meant with the um, CRT monitor, right? Monitors. <laughs> so let's take a look at this, guys. As I said earlier, CD-ROM drive, IBM warranty. IBM everywhere on the CD, on the floppy disk. Of course, on the PSU, we have got some dust inside. Let's take a look at the back side here first. So let me see on the camera how this looks. Oh, look at this. We have got two hard disks. Nice. The model number is, I love these cases, man. Built like a tank. Machine type 2134. Model number. 351SL-A Okay Oh, they're just built like tank Okay, two hard disks Beautiful stuff We have got the power connector We have got the fan We have got voltage For, you know, Europe, USA we have got 12 volt audio. Are we still online? Are we still live? <laughs> I hope so. Sorry, guys. Okay, so <laughs> power for speaker 12 volt. Okay. Right. Uh, we have got you know PS2 mouse and keyboard, built-in VGA. That's nice. And it's not the you know these some of these old IBMs they have got their VGA is uh, how was it? One of the plugs were uh, filled, so you can't use normal VGA cab cables. But this is just like a standard VGA cable. That's nice. And the best part about these old PCs are the sound cards so let's take a look at that and see what's included this beauty as i can see here oh, we, need, we need to take the cam just a bit closer two second guys sorry about the movement here yeah like this okay so 
As you can see here, the ramp is fully populated. That's beautiful. We have got this chipset. <laughs> nice. This chipset. Um, let's go ahead and unplug this CD audio connector and pull out the sound card and take a look at what model it is. Again, if you're new here, I am just so sorry about that background noise. It's my neighbor. He's building something. <laughs> but you can't plant this ahead, man, making live videos. It happens. So let's just check out the sound card. I mean, it's an ISA sound card. I love stuff like that. Again, we have got sis here. <laughs> How many megahertz the CPU is? The CPU is located here. It does not have an active fan, so yeah, just a big passive block. Nice. And I think it's a Intel Pentium 120 or 130. We can look it up. I, I don't remember, guys, but yeah, onboard VGA SMC. Sys graphic card. Let's see what's what. Uh, Sys uh, sixty two o five. That must be the uh, VGA, and chipset maybe Sys fifty five twelve. Sys fifty five eleven. So yeah, this is the video card. A lot of dust. Oh, the battery is just a standard, um, you know, twenty thirty two. Not a leaky type, so that's beautiful. A lot of cables here, a lot of stuff for the uh, that audio power. That's odd. It could have power from here to 12 volts. So, yeah. Oh, that must be the uh, power out to the speakers. <laughs> that must be it. So, we have got three ISA slots and two PCI. So, this is a, you know, it's later generation of uh, DOS PCs, as I would say. You know, this is from the mid 90s, so uh, ID controller, um, floppy controller, VGA, everything is just built in on the motherboard. So you don't have all those loose cards. So everything is just simple setup. Great stuff. Oh, we have a built in beeper here. But the thing I have been waiting for is this dusty card and it's called it's called what i have absolutely no idea which card is this guys <laughs> i don't know Try to squeeze this and take this one off and then remove this. Come on. Oh, nice. Does it say a name here? There we go. Chris. Oh, yes. Oh, this is nice. Let me see. It reads Crystal CS40 CS4236 KQEP. Okay, so it's a crystal chip CS4236. So this is just beautiful stuff. This is compatible with MS DOS gaming. I mean, I love these old ISO sound cards. If you love MS DOS gaming, you must smile right now. <laughs> and we have got this extra card. So what is this? 
I've got the exact same card, haven't used it. Oh, what more, what more? Let me see what you wrote there, two seconds. Um, I've got the same card, haven't used it. So I don't know how it performs, okay. Probably bad, OPO3. These crystal cards, uh, old versions, they're pretty nice. Do you guys know what this does? I mean, crystal chip, what does it say, man? CS 4112 and over here this big one says crystal CS 9233 a nice nice expansion that you put on over here I have to take this one out man never seen nothing like this before but I like it. <laughs> now I'm just anxious to, to, to know, man. I'm gonna plug this PC on tonight. Yeah, this is how, how it looks, guys. So if you have any idea what this is, let me see, you wrote something. Crystal chips are also on Gravis ultrasound cards. Whoa, nice. Probably an A32 add-on card? I, I, what? Are you sure about that? <laughs> Was that even possible with a crystal card? What? Guys, come on. It sounds too good to be true, man. It, I mean, if that's true, then I just hit, for me, I just hit the lottery, man. Yeah. So this is how the expansion looks, and this is the card. Beautiful stuff, man. As long as it's just, you know, Sound Blaster compatible or, you know, something in MS-DOS mode, then I'm happy. If it's Windows 95 only, that would be a bummer, but I don't think so. I think it works with MS-DOS. <laughs> wow, man. Great stuff. What a great collection of mid 90s Pinion 1 PC stuff. I am so happy with this purchase. I'm still happy. Not, uh, I didn't get those CRT monitors, but I mean, the rest of the stuff, I don't remember how, how much I paid, but I'm, I'm the kind of guy, if I like something, I most of the times I just overpay <laughs> and then I just forget about it. <laughs> it is what this guys, we only live once and this is our hobby. Just do whatever makes you happy and then don't think about the price. That's just what I like. So let's just end up this video by looking at this beautiful Windows 95 CD, Windows 95 manual and original IBM stuff. Isn't it just great? Thank you for watching guys. Until next time, I'll be back.